name's the number, aka Kid Vets has 19 if you've seen me before. So I'm part of this YouTube collab channel called British Herb Kids. And so I'm going to show you my reptile collection today. So you everybody and then Eggy Snake's gonna show his reptiles and Fruity Gecko and Crazy Wild Python's Day is probably going to but Eggy Snake might include Crazy Wild Python's Day as soon as all their brothers. So my reptile collection consists entirely of snakes at the moment. Three snakes to be exact. One ball python, one corn snake and one milk snake. All females, all captured by 2010. So, um, milk snakes are tricolour or normal. Ball pythons are high yellow normal. And my, uh, my ball python isn't special bred but she possesses high yellow colouring so if I breed, breed her to another one with nice colouring I could produce like lime breeding so all of their babies are nicely coloured and I have an albino corn snake well a melanistic to be correct so first of all I'm going to show you my milk snake she's the newest of my snakes I've had her about four weeks now I'm not sure. I got her on. How many times have I fed her since I got her? I got her on a Saturday. Today is a Friday. Okay, so here is my milk snake. And unfortunately, she's pooing right now. right into my hand on purpose so here is my milk sack she's a Sinaloan milk snake Lampopelletus triangulum Sinaloa And she's probably the most nicely coloured snake I have. So, that's my melt snake. Next snake I'm going to show you guys is my corn snake strawberry. I mean, Candice. By the way, this melt snake is called strawberry. And sanitizer to keep my hands clean, especially as she just pooed on my hand. Rub it in, nice. So now I'm gonna get my corn snake, and she's in the shed at the moment. So she may be, she's not as nicely coloured. And she is my the one I've had for the longest amount of time. I got her in about Jan in January. So here she is. So, so it's Candice and Albino, a melanistic corn Okay, and um, last but not least. Baby ball python. All my snakes are babies. Crap, she's falling off the table. Oh, 
someone's shed at the moment. Well, not really a shed, but she's dolling up. Just about to go into the shed cycle, the end, the end of the shed cycle. If at the start is when they just shed, you count as the start. So she's a high yellow, as you can see. When she's in, she's quite dull at the moment, but normal ball pythons, when they've just shed, some of them would be at this colour normally. She's prop, She's a really bright yellow when she uh, just fin finishes shedding. And she's a really, really nice snake. She's my big girl. And she's very docile and cute. And unfortunately, she's not the best of eaters that sometimes, most of the time. Most of the time, she won't strike at the mouse when I put it on the tongues. I have to leave it in the tank and then she'll pick it up. Wow, my other two snakes, they are great feeders, especially Candice. She proper strikes at it and proper wraps around it loads. She's a great feeder. But unfortunately, Cleo's not, but I don't care. I all love him. They are great snakes. So, corn snakes, by the way, the Latin name is uh, Milafa Gutata Gutata, and Bob Python's is Python Regis. And there's no subspecies of Regis, so there's only just the Regis bit. You don't have to say, like, unlike Alafa Gutata, there's a few different subspecies in the same way milk snakes. There's more subspecies of milk snake than there are, like, species of the fam the family milk snakes come in because there's in fact eight species i think in the family of king snakes while there's 25 subspecies of just milk snake but like i said ball pythons don't really come in any subspecies they're just the one plain old ball python which is beautiful. So that's my reptile collection. And I am Kid Reptiles 19. And I'm hoping to see you guys again on British Reptile Kids YouTube channel. So from me, goodbye.